Hey, on a rainy day, wishing that you were back in Hawaii, it's bacon-wrapped pineapple. Oh, this is an amazing appetizer, or it can be a dessert. You decide. Today we're gonna to mix up a nice little appetizer, some bacon wrapped pineapple. So step one in this is to take a pineapple, make sure that it's nice and ripe. And then what I do, cut the top off, cut the bottom off, cut the sides off. So now I've got this nice big core and I just cut it into rounds. I'm gonna take these nice rounds and put them on our gas grill. I'm gonna sear these off and get some really nice marks on them. There we go. So I'm doing about a half a dozen of these. Notice that I left the cores in there. We can cut the cores out afterwards. If you do that before and you've got the small pieces, it's really hard because they end up dropping through your gas grill. Uh, just really makes a mess. So now that we've got them on here, we're gonna add a couple of things to it. One is, I'm gonna add a little bit of rub. So liberally put this on each one. A little more there. And then I'm gonna add some dark brown sugar. So this dark brown sugar is what I buy in bulk at the local bulk food store. So we're gonna put some rub on the other side and then also put some of that dark brown sugar on there for some caramelization. Should have some really nice grill marks on here. Cooks it up a little bit. Then we're gonna take it uh, and cut it down into pieces, get rid of the core, wrap it in some bacon, and we're gonna put it on the smoker to give it a nice smoky taste. Okay, we've got these at full heat. They've been going for a few minutes. Gonna peek underneath here a little bit. Let's see what they look like. Oh, there's some nice, Nice grill marks there. So this other side is gonna go pretty fast because we've got the dark brown sugar on the back side already. Drop those down for a couple of more minutes and then we're gonna take them off let them cool a little bit, cut them up, and then we're gonna wrap them in bacon and put them on the smoker. All right, I think it's about time to take those off. Look at that nice caramely goodness there. Don't wanna put these on too long and dry them out, but you can see that looks really nice there. We've got some good grill marks on the backside, nice caramelization on there. These are gonna work out really well. All right, now since we've got the pineapple off, what we're gonna do is cut this. And I usually take each ring and cut it into about three. Gonna take that little inside core out and get rid of those. So each ring actually gets cut into six. And you can see these have a nice little grill marks on them. They're kind of a nice char. So we're just gonna go through each one of those. All right, now we're gonna take the bacon. And what we're gonna to wanna to do with the bacon is cut it up in a little bit of pieces. So we're gonna take a look here and say, you know what, if I cut this bacon, and I can probably get about three pieces out of each one. So we're gonna cut that in about a third and give that a try. Just take one of these guys. Fold it around there. There's number one. 
I'm trying to put the seam on the bottom. That seems to work out well. <laughs> there you go. So we're just going to go over here. I'm going to cut each one of these into roughly three. There we go. That's in thirds. You just kind of wrap it around there. If you've got a few of them that are a little bit smaller, others a little bit bigger, that's okay. Just going to kind of roll those around. Now what you can do, if your bacon is having a hard time making it all the way around, if you warm up the bacon, just put it in some warm water, that works out well. It makes it a little bit stretchier. Lots of nice bacon goodness here. This is pretty easy to do. Pretty quick little appetizer to get ready. Something a little bit different for folks. They probably haven't had this before, so you can introduce them to something new. And uh, as long as you're using bacon, hey, what can go wrong? This was a fresh pineapple that I picked up at Costco. And as you saw, I cut it all up and got rid of the core in there, but made sure to sear it first. I think that's important. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have all of these little pieces. If you cut it up small first, they're going to be dropping through your grill. You're just going to have a hard time managing those. Now, you can put some toothpicks through here if you want. Not necessary. Looks like I ran out of bacon. I'm gonna have to go get some more. Didn't estimate this quite right, so I had to get a few more strips of bacon. Again, cutting those into three. I don't use a real thick bacon on this, uh, especially for appetizers. You don't wanna to have to cook them so long that uh, um, whatever's inside, like either this, or if you see my other video on bacon wrapped Oreos, uh, you don't want it to really cook that terrible long so in order to cook the bacon uh, if it's thinner it goes a little bit quicker you can serve these hot or you can decide that you want to let them cool then warm them back up um, you could even serve them cool too um, those they taste just as good if they're cool or if they're hot Put these last few together here. Where am I gonna put them? Slide them around. I got one more left. And it looks like we've got some extra. Hmm. That's good. So these could be ready to go on the smoker. But uh, what we're gonna do, just add a little bit more. This is a local rub. It's not a real spicy. Um, you can do a spicy rub if you want, or you can do something that's a little bit more mellow. Um, I like to kind of spice it up with the barbecue sauce at the end, just drizzling a little over. A little bit more dark brown sugar. That's going to caramelize on there nicely too. Hey, bacon, brown sugar. You can't go too bad on this.
All right. Now all we've got to do is put these on the smoker, let them go for a little while until that bacon is all rendered out and cooked, and then we're going to pull them off and enjoy them. Probably drove a little bit of barbecue sauce on at the end also. We're running here with a Camp Chef Smoke Pro. This is one that I picked up uh, about a week ago. Did a little bit of cleanup on it, repainted. Thing is working like a charm. Going to go find a new home for it, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and use it. those little pans in there will keep things a little bit clean but now we're just gonna let them mellow out in here for a little while until that bacon is rendered off I'm gonna run it at a low setting for a little while and that's gonna give a little bit more smoke this has a low and a high smoke setting so I'm gonna run it at that low smoke for a bit get a little bit of smoky flavor on there turn it up to about 350 at that point and that way we can render out the bacon and uh, cook it all and uh, everything will be great. We'll take it out of there, let them cool down a little bit, drizzle with a little bit of barbecue sauce, uh, a little bit of spicy barbecue sauce. I like to kind of kick it up a little bit, especially with a lot of that sweet from the dark brown sugar and then also the pineapple inside there. Uh, if we just give it a little bit of a kick with a barbecue sauce, can apply as needed for those that don't want it as spicy and uh, just a nice way to go with that. Makes a wonderful little appetizer, either served warm or served at room temperature. So let's say goodbye to those guys for a little while. We'll see you soon. All right, it's time to check in on these. We got them running about 300 degrees in the smoker and we should be rendering down that bacon. That looks pretty good. You can see that we threw a little bit of brown sugar on top. That's starting to caramelize nicely as well. And I think we'll just give this a little bit more time. Picked up this Japanese barbecue sauce at Costco. So I'm just gonna dribble a little bit of this on. That should give it a nice little Cook that in a little bit. I think that should be nice. Just a few little drops on each one. It's pretty thin. I think it's going to be a nice little addition there. There we go. We'll let that go for a little bit longer. So I think they were doing well here. But what I'm going to do for this last part is pull this little bottom pan away and we're just going to put this grill rack right on here. I think we need a little bit more to cook the bacon on the bottom. That'll render it out to kind of finish things off. There we go. So those pans go away. We're going to leave this rocking around 300 degrees and finish them off. There, that is coming along very nicely. Starting to get a little bit of rain here, but uh, that's okay. These are doing well. Close them up. They're just going to need a couple minutes, and we'll be able to take those off and plate them. All right, these are finished, ready to go. We're going to take them off here. This is our bacon-wrapped pineapple. Again, this is about a third of a strip of bacon. And we cut the pineapple into rounds, charred it on the gas grill with a little bit of a uh, this on the barbecue grill with a little bit of dark brown sugar, a little bit of rub, and then again when we wrapped it up in bacon we put a sprinkle a little bit of additional dark brown sugar, put a little bit more rub on it, and then partway through the cook we added in way through the cook we added in a little bit more barbecue sauce and this was a Japanese barbecue sauce that I picked up from Costco they were doing some sampling and it tasted pretty darn good so you can see we've got a nice little bunch going here 
There, that looks pretty good. So there's the barbecue sauce that we put in here, the original Japanese barbecue sauce. I think this tasted pretty good. We're gonna just drizzle a little bit more over the top. Now, I'm not gonna try these right now because we did just bring them off at 350 degrees with some pretty hot bacon. So we're gonna give them a few minutes to kind of cool down a little bit before we give it a try. But uh, I would say that is pretty fine looking dessert or appetizer, whichever way that you wanna use it. Okay, look at these little guys. Time to dig in. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. That's got a great flavor profile to it. A little bit of barbecue, the sweet, the bacon on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works. You may or may not like this, but it's fun to do something just a little bit different on the grill. So we got the bacon wrapped pineapple. Give it a try, see what you think. This has been a hit for us. Hey, make sure that you're not spending all your time on YouTube just watching some guy in the rain in the Pacific Northwest making some bacon-wrapped pineapple so you can think he's still in Hawaii. But uh, figure out what you're going to cook on your barbecue this weekend. And thanks for watching.